in this class we will discuss about the primary constants of the transmission line now as we have already discussed for any transmission line you have to consider the transient time effect when your length of the wire is in comparable with the wavelength of the transmission line right so what we are saying is let us say that this is my parallel wire now if I want to get rid of the transient time effect what I can do is I can reduce down the length right so it means that I can take small pieces of length let me divide this as a small small segments so these are nothing but the small segment of it let us say that the length of this the small segment is delta x so this is what is my delta x right if I zoom this part right this length it will be looking like if I zoom this part it will look like again a wire right now for this wire can I say that high frequency it will have inductance right so it will have inductance as it is a wire it will have resistance it will have resistance now as this will look like a two parallel plate capacitor in between them it will look have a capacitance right now in between these two wires there can be a charge leakages right so that will be nothing but that will constitute the conductance so this would be g this would be r this would be l and this would be c so what i have done is i'll repeat again this is nothing but your transmission line i know that in order to get rid of the transient time effect what i have done is i have taken a small small segments of transmission line it means i have divided into small small length such that your delta x tends to zero which is nothing but small piece of wire if i magnify the small piece of wire like this what would it look like is nothing but this as we know that any wire will have resistance so it is being denoted by resistance at high frequency it will have conductance right so sorry it will have inductance that we have denoted by l between two wires it act as a two parallel plate capacitor so we'll have something called as capacitance between two the wires at high frequency there may be chances of charge leakages so that constitute the conductance right so this is l r g and c these are actually called as the primary constants of the transmission line now what would be the unit of this the unit of l would be nothing but the normal unit of l is nothing but inductance is henry in this case as i'm talking for a small length it would be henry per meter the unit of capacitance is farad so in this case it would be farad per meter the unit for resistance would be nothing but your ohm per meter the unit of g would be nothing but mo or i can say that ohm inverse per meter why per meter because we are talk we know that we know see when i give you this wire the resistance of this wire is let's say that 1 ohm but we are talking about the small segment it means if i take the cap this is the small portion of this wire always whenever the quantity resistance inductance capacitance will be always given as a whole right but what we are dealing is nothing but the small segment of that right the small segment of this is nothing but this so what would be the resistance of this it is nothing but whatever is the resistance the whole thing per unit length right so that is nothing but per unit length is nothing but that is comes out to be per uh, henry per meter farad per meter ohm per meter and per meter so that would be the unit of a primary constant in case of your transmission lines right we'll see more on this in the next videos